Uh, what I like about Smokebush is we've got some really good arsenic draw hits at Lightning and Monza, and we're now going back following up at Wildfire, which seems to be pretty exciting. You know, 15 metres from 10, 10 metres down at one and a half grams. Uh, it's just been left there, so air core over that at the moment. We should have results next three to four weeks, which is really exciting. But the gallium, like gallium's a super rare specialty mineral, and there's a need, because you've got one player with nine out in the market. Our project is nine, potentially up to four k's wide. We've been, been off a scale, and we've got 102 holes into it. So, you know, there's gallium in every hole. Lord River, we're at the Albany Fraser Belt, with 300 k's down from Nova Bollinger. If you look at the Thompson Belt in Canada as a model, every three to 600 k's there's a repetition. Everyone's been looking in the northern part of the Albany Fraser Belt, tens of millions of dollars, if not more, have been spent there trying to find an intrusive unit. We've got one. You know, some of your sites are signed off that ours is a Mafic or an Ultra Mafic intrusive unit. We've got sulfide conductors sitting on it, same as Nova Bollinger. They run tested, you know, what are these sulfide? Potentially, they could be economic. But we have five of them to test. Trains gallium discovery is very important, we believe, because 98% of the market or supply of gallium comes from China. It's a byproduct. There's no gallium only mines, and we may be able to a gallium only mine. The best of my knowledge is no more out, there's no other ones out there. Uh, but gallium is critical mineral. It's electronics, uh, solar panels, computer chips, transistors, diodes, and all that allow for AI quantum computing, fast switching, low voltage, miniaturization. There's a lot of new technology that just doesn't work without it. Uh, and I don't think people realize there's not a lot of it's used, but there is no replacement.